boxing worlds with Darren Wilson that Jason Cook fighting in prize fight the next week how's preparation been? Excellent yeah he's gone uh, really well he's he's been on fire for well since the Tony Pace fight he had um, one week off and he's straight back in the gym and fire on all cylinders. Looking back at the Tony Pace fight it was a pretty even fight up until the stoppage I know it was only four rounds how what, were your, what was your assessment of it? Um, same really it was, it was even Tony, Tony boxed really well I thought um, Jason like went, went off scared about the food round, like he said. Um, said him in the corner, just take take your time a bit more. He, he started getting frustrated and he walked onto a shot, which is basically what happened. Um, just drew, drew him into to walking onto something. Jason is he's been known for his left hook in the past, but it seemed like you're working on his right hand a bit more. Obviously that's what ended the last fight. Do you think they'll show him prize fighter as well? Yeah, it's a lot. Lot of lot of the boys he's been fighting has been. You could see they've been waiting for that left hook. He's he sparked everyone up with his left hook. So they catch. So been veering his work up. You know, just the right hook, or a straight right, whatever. Just everything. Just putting everything into place. Not just working on one thing. Just a variety of everything. Jason said how this. You know, he's treating every fight now like it's his last fight. Do you see like him improving training that way? Yeah, I do. I. It's, it's, it's mainly main thing is the weight. He's. He's not struggling to make his weight. Um, obviously, it's, it's heavier now. He's, he's not worrying about that at all, so that's out of his mind. Um, so he's, he's more energetic in training rather than draining down, draining down. So his energy levels in training is, is a lot better, yeah. So all in all, it's, it's good. The, it's like important in prize fight, the time in between fights. You, know, you can either have a very long time or a very short time. Well, if you did have a very long time, what would you feel that time doing? Uh, just trying to make him relax as much as you can, um, get his fluids back into him, um, check his moves on, do what he's going to do. Like in the last prize fight, he was cut, so we were working on the, on the cut after the Michael Grant fight, so that took most of the time up before he fought Gary So it's, it depends really what's happening in the fight. But try try and get as much save as much energy as you can for the next fight. You and Jason were in prize fight, uh, you know, a couple, I think it was about four years ago. Might, might be longer. But um, what did you learn from that experience that you can apply to next weekend? Um, just just base, basically, um, we just know, know the format. We've been been too obviously. You got to the semis. We didn't go into the final, but um, the stuff in between the fights. It's, it's, it's basically the same as a normal fight in there, but it's just three rounds. Yeah. Uh, but the time in between is is vital to to get the the fluids back into him and relax and all that is the main thing. What have you been doing? Like we've been watching you today train, Jason. What have you been doing in in the training sessions to tailor it to prize fighter? Um, we've just been working on like a nine minutes, the, the three three minute round, three minute round, three minute round. Um, it's obviously nine minutes, and then we've been. Doing, Breaking it up and taking him away from the boxing, been checking co work in then, so he's not boxing, and then going, we'd be picturing like the quarterfinals, doing doing the co work, back into the semi finals, and then the final, just pretty much exactly as as it well as it hopefully will be, so we win in the final. Nathan Cleverley's come back announced next week with you as now the head trainer. Dad, can you tell us how that how your relationship with Nathan initially started? Um, what well, is is uh, I took took a boy up there sparring when, when I first. Come about there. Um, took a boy up his sparring, uh, Jermaine. Uh, took him up sparring, and his dad liked the like the work I done. You could you you a few things. They said, oh, if um, if you fancy any uh, old school training and the stuff I do conditioning wise, bring him down. Fit to his dad. He um, he brought him down and kept brought me on board. You've been the strength and conditioning trainer then since Nathan's first world title fight. Yeah, yeah. Um, two two thousand and ten. Yeah. Two thousand and ten. Yeah. Yeah, so it's a Bremer fight, but he fought the Kras, um, what's his name? Kuziemski, I think. <laughs> Kuziemski, yeah, the Polish guy. What, Nathan's obviously coming off a loss, and he's moving up to cruiserweight, which is the biggest weight, you know, jump in, in boxing, 25 pounds. What have you, now you're a full-time trainer, what have you been doing with Nathan in training to prepare um, for that? Just a lot of explosive work, a lot of um, not burning calories all the time, you don't have to worry about his weight now, so... Say like the running track, for instance, been doing 60 meter sprints, plenty of rest, putting everything into the maximum effort into the 60 meters. Um, boxing work, same again, uh, explosive work, um, working in phases. Um, rather than burning, burning all the time, getting the calories, burning the calories, rather than getting to the 12 and a half. So you don't have to worry about his weight. So he's work, working a lot on technical stuff and 
plenty of time to play with stuff you now. What it, when Nath was at light heavy, you know, I imagine a strength and conditioning coach, your role was pivotal in, you know, getting him in shape. How much was the weight affecting him? Um he was getting in the last couple of fights you could see it in his in his energy levels really in his training. He was uh, he was a lot tired and inspiring, a lot more tired in his condition, pad work, whatever. He was he was his energy levels now is at the maximum I'd say. I, I know like there's no opponent confirmed for his fight in May, but what sort of performance can we expect from Nate? Um I think you'll see him at his best. This is this is would be he's about he's about moving up for a while, him and his dad have been saying it for uh, for a bit. Um but he, he's he's comfortable now and he he'll he'll be at his best, I'm pretty sure. Happy happy days. Well, thanks for your time. And uh, well we wish you all the best next week with uh, Cookie and see you soon. I right, just <laughs>